you should set up some general storage guidelines and have your staff put them into practice. You need to clear a space in storage for new products. And you want to make sure everything already in storage is properly labeled. All TCS ready-to-eat food prepped in-house that will be held for longer than 24 hours must be labeled. The label should include the name of the food and the date by which it should be sold, consumed, or discarded. Once food has been properly labeled, you have to arrange products to make sure that the oldest inventory is used first. This method is used in refrigerated, frozen, and dry storage, and it's called first in, first out. Be sure to discard any food items that have passed their use-by date or manufacturer's expiration date. And remember that any food that needs time and temperature control for safety that was prepared on site can only be stored for a total of seven days at 41 degrees Fahrenheit, 5 Celsius or lower. After seven days, it has to be thrown out. Food should only be stored in containers that are intended for food. Make sure they're durable, leak-proof, and that you're able to seal or cover them. And always clean and sanitize the container before storing food in it. And here's a major red flag. You should never put food in empty chemical containers or use empty food containers to store chemicals. Now here's the thing about storing newly received refrigerated and frozen food, or any food that needs time and temperature control for safety. You have to keep them out of the temperature danger zone by storing them as soon as they've been inspected. And make sure you only store food in designated storage areas. Cleanliness is a real issue with your designated storage areas. The floors, walls, and shelving in refrigerators, freezers, dry storerooms, and heated holding cabinets have to be cleaned on a regular basis. Make it a rule to clean up leaks and spills right away to keep them from contaminating other foods and providing food for pests. And get into the routine of checking the temperature of stored foods regularly. Randomly sample the internal temperature of refrigerated food to ensure that the temperature is 41 degrees Fahrenheit, 5 Celsius, or lower. Check frozen products to make sure that they're frozen. Proper storage practices also means that you don't overload refrigerators and freezers. Storing too many products prevents good airflow and makes the unit work harder to stay cold. Refrigerator and freezer doors should also be kept closed as much as possible. Frequent opening lets warm air inside, which can affect food safety and make units work harder. If raw meat, poultry, and fish can't be stored by themselves, make sure you store cooked and ready-to-eat food above these items. This will prevent raw product juices from dripping onto the prepared food and causing a foodborne illness. Raw meat, poultry, and fish have to be stored in the following top-to-bottom order in refrigerators. Whole fish, whole cuts of beef and pork, ground meats and fish, whole and ground poultry. This order is based upon the minimum internal cooking temperature of each food. You have to pay just as much attention to the guidelines for placing food in dry storage. Your dry storerooms need to be kept cool and dry because heat and moisture are the biggest dangers to dry and canned foods. To assure the safety of your dry food and to maintain optimum quality, keep the temperature of the storeroom between 50 and 70 degrees Fahrenheit, 10 and 21 Celsius. Your storeroom should also be well ventilated. This will help keep the temperature and humidity constant throughout the storage area. Your dry food has to be stored away from walls and at least six inches 15 centimeters off the floor. And it should never be stored near chemicals or cleaning supplies.